Hey everyone, it is Devin from Maniology and today we are going to be discussing our Blooming Babe Stamping Starter Kit. For those of you who are new to Maniology, this is a perfect live for you to join. We are going to discuss a couple of different things you can do with this box. So let's give everyone a few moments to jump online with us. Thank you so much everyone who's joining us. Welcome, welcome. And today we are going to be doing a couple of demos with our Bloomin' Babe Stamping Starter Kit. Very excited to show this to you guys. Hello, everybody. Let's just double check. Can you guys hear me nice and clearly? Can you see me clearly? Give me some hearts if the audio and visual is good to go. Wait, okay, one heart. So you guys can hear me and see me, right? <laughs> okay, good, very good. I always wanna double check now because um, the past couple of times that I've done lives, I've been having some weird issues. So I just wanna make sure that everything is good to go. I would hate for you guys to miss anything. And for those of you who are new to our live, if I'm not able to answer your question during the live, please forgive me. Sometimes it's hard to manage with the camera and the demonstration and talking, etc. So we usually check the comments after the live and just kind of go through everything. So yeah, if I didn't answer it today or in this live, we will be answering your questions a little later. So make sure you comment below. Okay, it looks like we have a nice crowd going. So let's just jump right in. For those of you who are unfamiliar with us, um, this is our stamping starter kit. So it has everything you need to get started in stamping. And I am really gonna be like doing this as if I'm a brand new customer struggling with the label and everything. Oh my God, guys. Hello. <laughs> okay. So while that's going on, one thing that I do want to show you is the fact that on the back. Oh, yep. Tiana's got me covered. <laughs> oh, that did absolutely nothing. Haha. <laughs> ha. Okay. So, before I destroy this box, um, on the back, we have a simple little pictorial so you guys can learn how to stamp. So, Everything that you need in the kit is already here for you. And then we also even have just, uh, instructions on how to achieve your very first stamp manicure. So the first thing you get inside your starter kit is two stamping plates. Let me peel off this blue film. Make sure that when you get your stamping plates to always peel off your blue film. Thank you, Chelsea, for reminding me my nails are jewels, not tools. <laughs> you are right. Um, so the very first thing you get is this plate, M018, with all kinds of really cute floral designs. And then you also get plate M019, the sound that that's that that makes you can take a look all these really awesome very pretty floral designs so you get these two stamping plates with your bloomin babe 
We also include a very large printout. So again, in case you have any questions on how to stamp and you didn't read the back, which we put it here, we also put it in here. A lot of the questions that we get, especially for beginners, can be answered just by looking at this insert or reading the back. Um, we even have some helpful hints and tricks to make the stamping process very easy and smooth. The other things you get inside your box is a scraper and a stamper. So I'm just gonna take off the plastic and you can prime your stamper if you want to, however, it's not necessary. It is good to go. Then the last thing that you get are these two stamping polishes. So you get Soft Sage, which is a really pretty green, and Monarch Dream, which is a beautiful purple. And these two colors can work together or be used alone. For those of you who are not familiar, stamping polish is very pigmented. So usually you only need about one coat instead of two coats of color. You could get away with just doing one. And um, yeah, you can use it as a base color like how I did here. This is what it looks like when it's swatched out. Please ignore the texture. It's because I sponged the base on, so that way it speeds up the dry time instead of painting it on. But this is what it looks like when it's swatched out. So these are very, very pretty colors, as you can see. So let's get into the fun parts. I am going to show you three very simple designs that you can create with these plates. Mm, let's do M018. I want to pick this heart area up. It's so cute. So using what we got in the box, make sure you're stamping areas ready that you have some plain acetone and cotton pads to clean up. So make sure you are using 100% acetone. You do not want to use polish remover because it will leave oily fillers on your plate and it makes it very difficult to pick up. There we go. So easy and simple. Now let's see. Oh, guys, I got it. Are you sending me good stamping vibes? Because I feel like you guys are. That came out beautifully. Except for my little booba right on the left side, but it's okay. These stamping starter kits are available on our site, so you do not have to be a member to get these. You don't have to subscribe to anything. Just check out our website, maniology.com, and you can find our stamping starter kits there. So this is design number one. Look at how pretty that is. I got all those detailed florals without even spending more than, what, 10 seconds? It took me about 10 seconds to stamp that. And let's do another design. Mm. I am really liking these leaves right here. They're so cute. So if your stamper gets dirty, all you need is to grab some scotch tape or a lint roller and just clean it off like this.
And these are all items that you can find at your local drugstore or in your house if you have it. I think most people usually have some kind of tape or lint ruler. And that's it. Now we're ready to stamp again. I'm going to do these beautiful leaves. So when you are stamping, it's better to use more polish than less. Don't be afraid, especially when you're new to stamping. Lovely. Someone asked, how do you transfer your stamp if it doesn't fully transfer onto your nail? Do you have to start over completely? You, If you just have the starter kit, yes, you might need to start over completely. However, if you go on our website, there are products that can help you so that way you don't have to completely start over again. Also, depending how quickly you move, you might not need to. So for example, let's just pretend that you know, I wanted to get this piece on the stamper, um, on the design. So actually, maybe that's not going to work. I'm going to have to use this corner. If you move quick enough, you might be able to just transfer it on. But you have to move really fast when that happens. If you don't move fast enough, um, the polish will dry. Because stamping polish is formulated to dry quicker and be more heavily pigmented specifically for stamping. So in this case, all this leftover stuff that's on my stamp, it's already dry. So that's not gonna work with me just like trying to stick it on now. In order to get this stuff to stay on or transfer, I would need like a special adhesive, which we do sell on our site. We sell something called the Sticky Base Coat and there are other products that we, we have for that kind of thing. But for now, the short answer is, yeah, you'd probably need to start over if this is all you have, if you just have the starter kit. Chelsea, I love these leaves too. So let's work on design number three. So far, we've already done two really cute ones. I'll flip them around so you guys can see. We'll do one more. Um, let's use this plate since I have not used it yet and grab your piece of tape and just go ahead and clean up the excess on your stamper. So you do not need to use acetone or polish remover to clean your clear stamper. We do not recommend using that. It will make your stamper head cloudy. So when you are cleaning your stamper, all you need to do is use tape or a lint roller. Again, if you read this guide that we give you, it explains everything. So make sure you read this when you get your box or read the back of the box, up to you. Let's see, what other design should we do? Hmm. I think I'm gonna do this design. Then maybe a butterfly too. Again, with stamping, <clears throat> you need to move very quickly and make sure that your space is set up. Oops. Because I hesitated, you saw what just happened. Part of the stamp didn't transfer as nicely as it could have because I waited a little bit too long. Again, with stamping polish, you want to move very quickly and also make sure you're not sitting in front of an AC like how I am um, because that will speed up your dry time, but it's okay because I'm going to just use one of these other designs to cover up those little empty spots.
So let's just put this there. And you can add as much as you want. I might just add another flower because I've got a little weird gap right here. So you can add as many stamps as you want. There really is no rules for this. And regarding this stamper, I didn't even prime it. If you don't know what priming is, don't worry about it. Again, the insert explains what priming is, but you don't even need to do that. These stampers are so easy to use and I love it. Just gonna add this tiny little flower to fill that weird gap that I had. Right here. There we go. And look, now we have, now all those weird gaps got covered up. And we've got like a flower and butterfly. You could add more to it if you want, or just leave it as is. That's completely up to you. But yeah, so these are just three simple designs that you can create once you get your starter kit. And these are all the items that you're gonna get inside the box. Let me show you one more time. So you'll get these two plates, a stamper, a scraper, and two polishes. Oh, make sure you close your polishes as well. I have spilt so many polishes before <laughs> because I forget to close them. So this is everything that you'll receive inside the box, plus your little insert. And I hope you guys enjoy this very short and simple tutorial and unboxing. And if you guys end up creating some really cool designs with this starter kit, please make sure you at mention us, hashtag us. We love seeing your creations. And if I wasn't able to answer your questions today, I apologize. I will be checking the comments again. Oh, before we do this, before I leave, let me show you guys how to clean the plates real quick. Because I realize I haven't done that. So this is just 100% acetone with a cotton pad. Just give it a really good rub. Okay, let me show you something else. If you see these lines here, these streaks, they do not affect the performance of the plate. It doesn't mean that your plate is getting scratched. Don't worry about it. It's just some kind of weird like foggy thing that the acetone leaves. So if that happens, you can and you can't stand it, you can just take a dry cotton pad and wipe it off. And there you go, it's clean again. Um, I don't recommend using cotton balls because what happens is the cotton starts to pill and it gets all stuck to the etching in the plate. So cotton pads usually just tend to be much better and much easier for cleaning. Again, we recommend using 100% acetone because if not, you will have oily fillers on your plate and that will make it very difficult for you to pick up designs later. I hope that clears everything up and have an amazing day, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.